everyone, and welcome back to another video of Genshin with Daka. Today, we're going to be talking about my Yomiya summoning plans, as well as more 2.1 info and leaks. First of all, I'd like to say I'm trying out a new type of introduction. Tell me if you like it in the comments below. The old one just didn't have enough space to fit every single thing that I wanted to put. It would, like, you wouldn't be able to see it, so I just changed to this one for today. Tell me if you like it. So let's get into it. So my Yomnia summoning plans, she is out today and I will summon for her as well as Sayu. Absolutely. But I will summon for her not today. I will summon for her on Friday because my birthday is on Friday. So I'm going to be doing some birthday summons. So I will have a live stream on Friday and I'll, um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a live stream on Friday. It's going to be at 4.30 as of currently, and I'll keep you posted on this as it gets closer to the date, and we'll be able to summon for Yomi and Sayu and work on their builds and just play around with them, and it's going to be super fun, and it'll be really fun if you guys join. Uh, so this is Friday at 4.30. So let's get into the leaks. So first of all, you know how we had that Bishops and Where to Find Them event with the Expeditions in 1.3? to introduce us to the new Geo Vishap enemy. Well, we're going to have the same thing, and with this, we'll be able to get Alloy's uh, level up material called Spectral Husk, and we'll be able to do the event. It's like gonna be searching for specters. So we'll be able to do the same thing where we have the expedition and we can have our friends help us out with the expedition and then we go and kill them. So that way we'll be able to get our materials for Alloy. Uh, secondly, we also have some information about Kujusara. So she has been updated. Her passive is now her first constellation and vice versa. So her old passive used to give you some uh, cooldown decrease on her elemental skill. Uh, if certain conditions happen and that became her first constellation and her first constellation was supposed to decrease your charged attack time while in the crow feather state so you can activate your elemental skill um, by 60% but now it's her second passive so this will be helpful for um, people who aren't going to get her first constellation. So that's the information I have for you today about Sara and as well as some more 2.1 event updates. Uh, but thank you for watching. Have a nice day and Genshin with Daka out.